All over Africa, there is an exciting new movement of community health workers who are rising up to serve their communities and help curve the still staggering rates of maternal and child mortality. I traveled to the incredible village of Potu in northern Senegal. I wanted to see firsthand how health systems are being transformed in some of the poorest parts of the continent. The goal of the campaign is to work with African nations to deploy one million community health workers across the continent by 2015. The health workers, people from the community itself, go house to house, family to family, bringing basic but life-saving services directly to the people. Mamadou Ba is a community health worker in one of the most remote areas of Senegal. On quiet days, Mamadou sits under shade trees and talks to groups of women about health care for their children and for the whole family. He visits dozens of households each month, working with pregnant women and newborn babies. This little boy was born just two days before my visit. This mother was able to deliver her child safely in a clinic thanks to the ambulance service, also a key part of this program. It's much more effective to have a local person educating their peers, being able to understand the specific issues of that community and to be able to speak to them in their local language about how to deal with those issues. Akuya Samba walks throughout her community, often trailed by children who look up to her as a heroine. And she really is an inspiring figure, demonstrating her value as an educated woman in the community. At this home, a young girl has a fever and Akuya suspects it's malaria. In her pack, she has rapid malaria test kits and is able to determine in minutes if it's malaria or not. For those who test positive, each community health worker has all the emergency malaria meds at hand to treat on the spot. The community health worker program not only provides medical care to the communities, but has changed the fabric of the society. Because now, for instance, women are landowners in the community and they weren't before the program and it's changed the way that women are respected. I just think that's so interesting that it's changed the way that women are growing up in the community too, seeing that they should be respected and can achieve as much as the men. So it's far more than just a medical project. Senebu Ndaye has spent the last decade as a community health worker. The last year has seen huge advances in technology in the area. And Senebu now uses an app to help teach the local women about their pregnancies. What's so great about the smartphones is that it's just revolutionized the way the whole program works. It allows them to help in the treating and diagnosing of different diseases. It allows them to maintain a records of each patient. And I was so amazed to see that in action. I've been able to see firsthand how, when it boils down, it is about local people serving each other and why it's so important to empower local communities to lift themselves up out of poverty and why that will be sustainable. This is a program by Africans for Africans. One million community health workers across the continent, connecting communities and bringing health care to those who need it. This is seeing the end of extreme poverty in action.